What's up, y'all? My name is Vonte. I'm back with another fucking video. Reps north side, so we rocks them braids. If you're back to the channel, welcome back. Um, if you're new, I'm Vonte once again. But yeah, today I'm a little tipsy, y'all. Just to let y'all know. But um, I was on Twitter and I seen Malik. If y'all don't, if y'all don't know Malik, he's like a, a TikTok creator. Uh, actually, let me not say that. I think he like is a fashion. He does fashion and stuff like that. Anyways, he posted about being bi and like how uh, sexuality is a spectrum, meaning that sexuality is fluid. A lot of people um experience liking both genders, or a lot of people would try to do things with both genders if society wasn't so against it well against males being sexually fluid but anyways he made a post about that i seen this uh i seen this youtube video because i was just searching about like bi men just seeing like what would pop up and this girl's talking about her experience dating a bisexual man so let's watch her video and see what she's talking about i'm curious to see what she's uh what she's gonna say i've been out as a bisexual man since um damn since 2019 and i've dated two females since i've been out the closet have you seen the videos talking about if you as a woman would date a bi man yada yada why you would or wouldn't why you should or shouldn't have to explain that the way a lot of women are talking about it and imagining it is just not real life and it's not realistic somebody doesn't show up in your life and you go oh you're bi i'm not gonna date you you start talking to someone who's attractive guess what sometimes the hottest people are bi or gay or have riz not all bisexual men are like oozing feminine energy and i can tell that these women are imagining it as like they're automatically okay yeah this is true too um i think a lot of women do just immediately expect like but then again but then again uh if you watch insecure and whenever uh molly i think that's her name whenever she finds out that the dude she was fucking with had an experience with a man like back in the past as soon as she finds out that he had an experience with a man she immediately was like no like no i'm not fucking with him no more and he he seemed like a cool dude too like it's crazy but i think right off rip females do expect like femininity just like everywhere like you know i think y'all be expecting us to be like extremely feminine like as soon as you meet as soon as we meet each other anyways y'all let me get back to the video pulse by this man's presence or like femininity or bisexuality and they're like i'm not attracted to that you very may well maybe and ha probably have been i mean i'm just saying women black women mostly not trying to throw no shade no shade or no strays or nothing like that but black women mostly they be so quick to be like oh i would never be with a bisexual a bisexual man but in reality you probably been with a couple you probably been with a couple and you don't even know it and that's the crazy thing but i feel like if it was more of a uh i'm not blaming it on women like don't and i know it's gonna be people that's gonna say i'm blaming it on women but i'm not doing that i'm just saying if it was more socially accepted uh, then more men would feel more comfortable to even think to even think about coming out as bisexual or saying about interest with uh doing different things like experimenting with dudes like dudes would be more comfortable to even talk about it if people weren't so quick to be like oh oh you like that oh you like dick oh hell yeah, no you are you 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 like that bitch you know what I mean you know what I mean oh you like that and then throw you over there in the corner like that's basically what happens attracted to bisexual men and you may or may not have ever found out that they were bisexual sometimes people are just for people and i know that they're imagining it as like just not the way it is in real life like it's all coming from imagined circumstance in their brain and as somebody who is actually dated by men that's not how it works that's not how life works and you just you also may not know that being said, you know, some of my formative years were in Los Angeles. So I am just used to that. Women sometimes don't understand. Oh, yeah. She over there in L.A., she probably met a lot of bisexual men. Understand that you may not know somebody is bi and you may start dating them and you may start liking them and you may not find out for a while that that person is bi. Like, you can't just look at them and tell that they're bi. It feels very like Sodom and Gomorrah-able the way they're talking about it. And I'm like, dude, you may not even notice. You know what I mean? Like, it's like 
See, like, I am pansexual, bisexual. There's guys that I've dated that may not even know that. Do you know what I mean? Or they may not even have noticed if I didn't tell them. And the the assumption that it's, like, so... I was trying to say, nah, you could tell. <laughs> so, so opposite is a presumption. You know what I mean? And it's also, like, very much... That's not, like... I can tell you from experience that the way that they are speaking about it is very much like imagined. It's not coming from their experience. They're like imagining how it would be. And I think they imagine that these men come with like automatic feminine energy with a flag tattooed on their head and they're like wearing rainbow and they have nothing. <laughs> I mean, I ain't gonna lie. And this is another thing like with representation of bisexual men there's not a lot of representation so of course females of course women are going to uh, go to of course they're gonna think the worst when they think of a bisexual man because it's like nothing attractive about them to a woman no a lot of these men are like hot men because and like sometimes i think about first of all first of all first of all actually I think we're going to see a lot more men start to, personally, in my lifetime, I have seen guys that I know or so many guys in general start to identify as sexually fluid or open or bi or pan or gay in the past couple years, same way a lot of us have. So I think that people are going to maybe be in for a little bit of a rude awakening in the sense of not like a lot of people are about to be some sort of queer like and this is very true especially in like when you go to cities and stuff like that i'm telling you like when you're in the city it's way easier to run into people like that or just be around people that are more comfortable being themselves sexually i don't know i'm not and i'm not one of those bisexual dudes where it's like oh um i'm bisexual and I have a problem with the fact that women don't want to uh, fuck with me and shit like that. Like, nah, whenever I try to fuck with a female, I don't know. Like, I be not wanting to fuck it up. Like, I be feeling like I'm going to fuck it up somehow. So it used to really hurt me. Like, when I had first came out when I was like a sophomore in high school and I had came out as bisexual and I was trying to get girls. Like, I remember it was this one girl my senior year and I really liked her and I thought she was so like beautiful. It was an African girl. And I started talking to her and then like we talked for a little while and I was like, I gotta tell her I'm bisexual. Like, I felt like if I didn't tell her that, then the connection wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been like the same. And we ended up fucking with each other. We, we dated for a while. I don't know, I feel like sometimes, maybe even speaking from my experience, like maybe I gotta just, take the risk and like be like oh yeah i'm bisexual like you know and maybe she'll still fuck with me but rejection nobody wants to nobody wants to experience rejection like nobody does even me being a bisexual man myself thinking like oh when i come out i'm not gonna get coochie no more like they're not gonna want to fuck with me no more as long as i'm secure and i'm a man that's secure in myself i'm gonna be able to find a woman that's for me like like this woman right here she's saying how she feels about it and she doesn't care. And there's there's other women out there that are not going to care. Yeah, it's going to put you in a box. Yeah, your home, you're going to lose your homies. You're going to lose your friends. You're going to lose your family. But at the end of the day, if those people couldn't accept you for who you was, I mean, for who you are, then do they really need to be in your life? Like, come on now. Like, it's still in flux. People are still learning about how that can be different than the way it was first presented to them. And like literally there's people that I know that have completely changed their sexual identity in the past couple of years. And I think that that sort of thought process is becoming more and more available to men. So what I'm saying is, okay, also, sorry, I know my head is everywhere. You know, when you read about like older rulers and like, a lot of their sexuality was more when you hear about like the ancient uh the ancient books and history and stuff and mythology and all of that like a lot of those men they were sexually fluid like they was fucking with other men 
they were fucking with women everybody fucked with everybody but as a society i feel like more in the western side of the uh, of the world it's more looked down upon it's more frowned upon more fluid and how kind of this more rigid idea of sexuality is a little bit more of a modern thing i'm just saying don't count on it don't count on it to stay that way like so sometimes hot people are just gay do you know what i mean like and i think the way that women the women i've seen talking about this or talking about it they're like ew like and blah 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 and i'm like the most attractive man in the room could be a bi man and you could fall in love with him and you may just never know until you know and then what are you gonna do be like no my heart is wrong you might do that but you might not like she hit the nail on the on the head and i know it's gonna still be women out there that's not gonna want a bisexual man and i understand that i totally do because if i was a woman i don't know if i would be with a bisexual man <laughs> <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed the video. This one was a little different, but uh, yeah, watch my other videos. Yeah. She got Casamigos in her cup. She two turned up. She trying to.